Hello everybody, welcome to another weekly market news video. Today is Monday, 11th of January and we have uh, uh, begin the new year 2021 with uh, a lot of macroeconomic events ahead and also uh, some major market moves that uh, we are going to look at as right now. So uh, let's start uh, with S&P 500 and other US stock indices. We can see the beginning of the year and beginning uh, basically of uh, last week, uh, beginning of the, of the month of January uh, was again fairly positive for uh, stocks. Uh, bear, bears tried to push the valuation a little higher, which um, was uh, happening basically uh, the whole week, uh, the whole last week, uh, except Monday, which was uh, a and a little bit of correction on stocks, but overall the positive sentiment stays with the market. Um, and even though there are some uh, news, um, mainly from political side in the United States, uh, the stocks and the investors are still being quite positive about the outcome of everything that is happening right now prior to 20th of January, uh, when uh, Joe Biden should take take the office in the United States in Washington. So um, major uh, news from last week uh, which uh, we might get, uh, we, which we might be interested in and also uh, can uh, happen and uh, can affect the market uh, and I think has affected uh, in the previous sessions uh, especially on the, uh, on the, in the bond markets where the uh, yield from uh, 10 years uh, US, uh, US bonds uh, was able to push above for 1% which helped dollar and also helped uh, kind of the expectation uh, that the uh, United States and the Senate and uh, uh, President-elect Joe Biden uh, could push for a larger fiscal stimulus deal as Joe Biden said on uh, on, on the weekend that six hundred dollars uh, which are the direct uh, direct paychecks uh, which are getting uh, the US uh, United States um, people from US so that's in his words not enough for uh, US uh, and Americans to cover the costs, uh, for example, rent and also buy food. Uh, so he wants to push for a larger stimulus, uh, stimulus, uh, fiscal stimulus, which could uh, get through as he takes the office at on the 20th of uh, uh, 20th of January. It's being widely supported by the fact that uh, Democrats were able to steal the Senate. Uh, as the official result is now 50 to 50, uh, but the vice president, vice president Kamala Harris, uh, takes the advantage as the Democrat, Democratic Party and um, Senate has now majority of uh, Democratic leaders, uh, with the president-elect Joe Biden, who, who is also a Democrat. Uh, we can expect some uh, unorthodox uh, policy policy changes and um, much easier, uh, much easier, much easier uh, policy implement, in implementing, which could push uh, especially the president, uh, Joe Biden. So we are expecting a larger stimulus deal. We also might expect some negative uh, things for uh, US stocks as uh, some corporate uh, tax, tax um, arises and uh, some other uh, regulation changes uh, in the corporate sector. Uh, especially with the big tech, but um, as right now, uh, the markets are mainly uh, playing with the uh, expectation of larger stimulus deal, which, like I said, help uh, S&P 500 to push above uh, previous record highs, uh, close above them. Uh, like I said, uh, also European indexes uh, were quite positive uh, last week. You can see Monday again. Uh, Monday is. Uh, uh, in terms of a little bit correction on stocks, but um, overall, uh, short term and even medium term, we expect the stocks to uh, go uh, a little bit higher. So that's what's happening on the markets. Uh, stock markets last week, like I said, uh, Senate and uh, Democratic uh, kind of the blue wave, which was going to take 
uh, take over the legislative uh, legislation in in United States is mainly the the, the major news from last week. Uh, also, like I said, it kind of supported a U.S. dollar uh, with the rising yields of uh, from U.S. bonds. You can see your USD uh, then uh, corrected uh, below 123, then below 122. Another uh, very important uh, level here is 121, which we expect to hit uh, perhaps this week uh, if the momentum is going to stay with the market. Uh, but right now, you can see we were able to push even through the um, rising channel here and uh, close below. And right now, we keep uh, going down, which is uh, kind of the bearish momentum on the market right now. So uh, we expect any shorts, uh, any more shorts to come uh, here. And also, the correction was kind of expected here because uh, you can see the market was uh, moving uh, pretty steadily up. So uh, these moves down are uh, maybe in lines of our expectation. Uh, situation on other uh, forex currency pairs like uh, GBP USD USD CAD was uh, pretty similar to uh, what is happening on the Euro USD because US dollar was was uh, um, the main engine of the moves. So you can see GBP USD also. Uh, retreated uh, some of its uh, some of its uh, gains uh, previous, and uh, right now you can see a correction here on GBP USD, USD CAD. Like I said, other currency pairs, uh, the same thing. US dollar is uh, taking back some of its losses and is uh, quite uh, quite positive, uh, mainly thanks to the fact of. Um, very interesting, uh, very interesting moves on uh, on bond market in the United States. So USD JPY also uh, positive. Uh, last week was uh, very good for US dollar on this on this pair, uh, where the situation is a little bit different than the beginning of the last week and beginning of this year is on US dollar, which. Uh, I mean, uh, on gold, on gold I wasn't able to hold uh, the 1900 level and uh, broke below, broke below even the decreasing trend line here. And uh, the market is uh, simply uh, very negative at the beginning of this week. Uh, you can see that the losses were continuing uh, on Monday. And right now we have uh, some pin bar here, which indicates that the losses uh, were quite big, and this week I'm expecting uh, personally to uh, for the market to move into some consolidation, and uh, not really some big moves uh, either way, up or down, doesn't really matter. I think uh, we are more or less going to see some um, sideways movement on this market. So that's what's happening on gold, also on oil. Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, Saudi Arabia uh, agreed that they are going to that they are going to uh, decrease the production by another one million barrel. Obviously, quite interesting with the tension uh, on the Middle East. Um, that's uh, also supporting the prices of oil. So there's no surprise that oil is uh, holding uh, quite positively, even. Through the lockdowns in Europe, in in in, in Britain, in in the UK, in uh, in Germany, uh, uh, which uh, doesn't give uh, any positive look, uh, I mean outlook for demand of oil. Um, the oil is still uh, the market of oil, WTI or Brent is is holding near the highest levels since. Um, we can look, I think it's uh, since maybe April, uh, maybe March, yeah, maybe uh, February, March here where the slump uh, has begun. So uh, oil is positive. Uh, all the markets uh, are extremely positive. Also Bitcoin uh, reached uh, $40,000 uh, where it didn't find any more buyers, uh, so we could see some profit taking there. So it retreated from forty-two dollars, forty-two thousand dollars to thirty-four. 
Uh, we will wait and see what's going to happen this week, but the correction was uh, much more than expected. So uh, it's no big surprise that Bitcoin was also uh, one of the markets who uh, moved lower. Also last week uh, we were able to see some uh, job market data from US. It was quite disappointing. The NFP decreased by, I believe it was 104,000. Uh, maybe a little bit more. No, 140,000 uh, loss of um, loss of 140,000 employees. Also, uh, the unemployment stayed at the 6.7 percent. So there is the the employment and the job data uh, were a little bit disappointing, but. That's kind of what the market is anticipating. They expect that the fiscal stimulus is going to support these, uh, this unemployment rate in uh, decreasing. So that's uh, also one thing that markets are looking past through and uh, can also play some role in the coming months. Uh, if you look at the this week and uh, what market economic data we have ahead, Monday, there is nothing that we expect and uh, could affect the markets. On Tuesday, Tuesday though, we have Joel's job opening, we have last day report, uh, we have some short-term energy 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 outlook from EAI, but nothing really that interesting. On Wednesday, uh, the speech of Christian Lagardere, uh, CPI data from US, uh, and obviously oil stock exchange, but nothing again. Uh, extremely important uh, meeting uh, minutes from ECB will be released on Thursday afternoon as well as uh, jobless claims and uh, speech from Fed uh, Chair Jeremy Powell who's gonna give some outlook for maybe for, for the fiscal stimulus he's gonna give some opinion on that and also on the job data uh, which were, were released last week on Friday, though, we have a uh, decision of Korean Central Bank uh, manufacturing production uh, from the UK, but really this week uh, should not be affected as much as from the macroeconomic side, as we do not expect anything except Friday retail sales from US. But uh, at this point, can give us some indication, but shouldn't really affect the market uh, too much. So that will be it for the market economic uh, outlook. Also, uh, if you look at the markets, um, that would be probably it for today's video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed If you have any comments, leave it down in the uh, comment section below the video on YouTube. And I will see you next week.